Hi folks, Max from RootNexus5.com. Today I'm going to show you how to unroot your Nexus 5 uh, in case you did not make a backup of your stock ROM. Sometimes it happens. Um, this can also unbrick your Nexus 5. We're going to go ahead and flash the stock firmware uh, manually using Fastboot. For those of you who already have a stock ROM backup, simply restore using a twerp or clock my recovery and then you can just simply um, lock the bootloader uh, using fastboot. Uh, the command is fastboot uh, space OEM space lock. Um, it's the same as the root instructions. Just follow the root instructions where it says fastboot OEM unlock. Just change unlock to lock. And that will pretty much get you uh, completely stock. And also you can do a factory reset in stock recovery after that um, to completely make it stock. Or you can also follow this guide. Um, it doesn't matter. But let me show you how to do it. Uh, this will erase everything on your Nexus 5. So make a backup of everything you want to save before you do this. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. First, you want to power off your phone. And next, what you want to do is hold down volume down and the power button together for about one, two seconds. Uh, once it's in fast boot mode, it'll say fast boot mode there. I'll go ahead and connect it to a computer via micro USB cable. Make sure you're not using a USB hub. Connect it to a port directly on your computer. And let's go to our computer. All right, next you'll need to download a stock firmware. Go ahead and download it. I'll put it on my site. Um, go ahead and download the latest version. Um, this one is Hammerhead KRT16M. This is the only factory uh, firmware available right now. So I'm going to use. go ahead and use this. Um, go ahead and uh, unzip it. Um, it's a TGZ file, so you might need a special program. Um, I use this program called Alzip. Uh, it's a really old program, but it works just fine. So that's why I use it. It works on all Windows. Um, I'll ha also have a link to this if you want to use this. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and extract all the files. But you can use uh, 7-zip. I think 7-zip works uh, with uh, TGZ files also. Um, so go ahead and unzip it and um, try to extract it. Um, here we go. Give it a second here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and extract it into my downloads folder. Uh, the name is going to be uh, whatever the file name it is. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. All right. And it's almost done here. And also, you'll need to um, download fastboot.zip. Uh, that has all the fast boot files needed for Mac, Linux, or Windows. All right. Um, so that's that's the directory. Uh, it's under Hammerhead and then uh, under Hammerhead KRT16M. Next, go ahead and download fastboot.zip. Uh, if you unzip all the files, uh, you'll probably get a folder with fastboot with all the files you need for Mac, Windows, and, or Linux. Go ahead and copy all of the files um, to your uh, your uh, stock stock uh, image folder where you have all the stock image files. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it all here. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up a command prompt for Windows. And for Mac or Linux, go ahead and open up a terminal. Uh, for Windows, go ahead and type CMD under search programs. And this will bring you a command prompt. And uh, for Mac or Linux, um, just Google how to open a terminal prompt for your Linux or Mac. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and go into these directories. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm already in users data uh, max directory. So CD will make me go into the directory. So I'm going to type uh, CD downloads, enter, and I'm going to type CD hammerhead blah 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 and enter. Um, you can also type CD HAM and hit the tab key and it'll fill it in for you, auto fill it in for you. That's what I'm doing. I'm not actually typing fast. Uh, and then I'm going to do CDH, uh, CD space hammerhead dash KRT16M. All right, once I'm in this directory, I'm going to go ahead and test and see uh, if my phone is connected. So type fastboot uh, space devices. For Mac or Linux, um, replace, rep you'll, you'll have to do this first, actually. Uh, do chmod space 755 space star. All right, do that and uh, hit enter for Mac or Linux. And then uh, for, for fastboot, type instead of fastboot devices, type dot slash fastboot uh, device uh, dash Mac 
the space devices for Mac, and then also dash Linux for devices, uh, for fast boot dash Linux devices. I'll have all the commands you're supposed to type, so go ahead and if you have Mac or Linux, go ahead and follow along uh, with the commands on my website, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, type fast boot devices, for all Mac or Linux, you just have to replace the fast boot uh, command with dash Mac or dash Linux, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast boot devices. Uh, if you see some kind of random numbers and see fast boot, you're good to go. If you don't see that, you don't have the drivers installed. Um, if you don't know how to install drivers, uh, go ahead and follow um, the first, I think first half of my routing instructions. That will, um, help you install the drivers. In that video, I show you how to install the drivers. So go ahead and follow that. But if you root it using my methods at rootnexus5.com, you should ha already have a rooted, oh sorry, or you should already have drivers installed. Um, next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flash the bootloader. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the bootloader, uh, which here is bootloader dash hammerhead blah blah dot img, all right? So to flash that, I'm gonna go ahead and type Fast boot space flash space bootloader space bootloader uh, oops loader blah blah dot img so I just type at the end I just type blah, uh, bootloader and hit the tab key and it fill in for you and this will install the bootloader all right and if if the firmware is newer you'll have to flash this uh, in order to flash um, other stuff next we're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space reboot dash bootloader all right and your phone oops sorry um, I did something wrong here we go oh I forgot be there see fast boot um, so I'm gonna go ahead and type fast boot space reboot boot loader all right and it says rebooting into bootloader this simply will reboot into the bootloader which you need to do uh, after flashing every file um, next we're gonna go ahead and flash the actual uh, image. Uh, if you go back into the directory here, you'll see this image blah blah dot zip. That's your actual stock firmware. So we're gonna flash that next. Um, to do this, just simply type fastboot uh, space minus w space update space image um, and blah blah dot zip. I'll have all the commands on my site so you can just copy and paste it, um, but I'm just showing you here. Um, explain what you know these things do. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and this will install the stock uh, firmware, the version I have here installing. If you're using a new version, of course it'll install the new version. Um, so it is writing system, you can see. Uh, this should take anywhere between, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. <coughs> and once this is done, um, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna actually lock the bootloader that doesn't actually erase any everything. And uh, we can do a factory reset after that, or we can actually just um, lock the bootloader, unlock the bootloader again, which all also wipes everything out automatically, and then just simply relock it, re -lock it uh, right after. Um, it doesn't matter, there's many ways to cut the cake. Um, this should take additional five or 10 minutes, so I'll let it fast forward. Hi right, folks, so now your Nexus 5 should be rebooting, and let me switch the camera angle. All right, my phone is rebooting, and I'll be back when this is completely reboots, um, but it may not reboot, then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and manually do a factory reset. Hi right, folks, so um, if, it, if you actually came to the screen, uh, welcome screen, um, you're pretty much good to go. And uh, if your goal was initially just to get your phone working, then you can stop here. Um, you will still have a uh, unlocked bootloader. And all you have to do is to root it, is uh, basically repeat uh, the rooting steps of installing the, uh, the recovery and, well, you'll have to reroute it, basically. Uh, but not too hard. Uh, but if you want to relock your bootloader, uh, or if you end up in a boot loop or something, then let me show you how to do this. Um, let me imagine that you're in a boot loop. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, hold down the power button and also the volume down button because you can't power off your phone. So 
Um, go ahead and hold those two down until your phone resets and it will eventually re reboot into the bootloader. And we're going to go ahead and choose recovery mode here and uh, we are going to do a factory reset all right first and then we're going to do a lock uh, because if you don't do that it's not going to actually uh, clear out everything uh, i'm going to go ahead and choose wipe data factory reset here hit the power button and say yes all right and if you're stuck in boot loop, um, you do this and reboot, and you should be all good to go, and it should boot up to the startup screen. And you can stop there if you don't want to lock the bootloader. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and lock the bootloader, and give it a second here. Um, it's still formatting data. I'll be back. All right, once that is done, go ahead, and uh, we are going to uh, reboot system now. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot system now. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hold down volume down and the power button again. All right, really quick. Uh, if you fail this, just go ahead and hold down volume down and the power button for uh, 10 seconds or so until it boots into the bootloader. Now you should be in bootloader again, but it is unlocked. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and relock it. Uh, go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. Uh, let's go to our computer. All right, next we're going to go ahead and lock the bootloader. So type fast boot space OEM space lock and that's pretty much it folks and once that is locked um, you will see let me go ahead and change this camera angle again you'll find that it has been locked um, so the last step is simply go ahead and start and you'll have a fully unrooted Nexus 5 just like the day you got it um, this erases any traces rooting unlocking all that good stuff and you'll see a welcome screen. Uh, you should be able to see it within a minute or two here. So I'll be back when this completely boots. Hi folks, so it is done and I've got the welcome screen here. Now my bootloader has been locked. Uh, every, everything has been removed. Um, there's nothing personal files in there. Um, you can go ahead and sell your phone now, uh, return it for a warranty, throw it on the wall, whatever you wanna do. Anyway, that was how to unroot your Nexus 5 um, you know, this is completely, completely stock just the day, they, the day you got it. And if this video has helped you uh, unroot your Nexus 5, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at rootnexus5.com. We update you once a week with round of the week tips, hacks, and tricks, um, stuff like this. And that's about it. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.